All right, sitting here with Gary Walker. Gary, how you doing today? Couldn't be any better, I like being here. Gary, I just wanted to ask you maybe a couple quick questions while I have you. Gary's a good friend of mine, known him for a long time. He's uh, uh, done quite a bit in your life, right? I don't wanna make this too long, so. But uh, you were a sports agent. Sports agent, yeah, I sure was, with lots of famous athletes, Reggie Jackson among, among them. You uh, you actually negotiated Reggie Jackson's uh, contract with the did. Yankees. Yeah. And I was an athletic director at NAU for a while, enjoyed that. Did. And I was an assistant basketball coach at a junior college for one year, like that. So I've always kind of been around sports. Right. And I'm a good sport. <laughs> and you develop property. Yeah. Syndicated property. Yeah. You, just like everybody, you, you ups and downs, made money, lost a little Absolutely. bit of money. Absolutely. And you run a nonprofit, Red Mountain Indeed. Academy. Indeed, yeah. Red Mountain Academy devoted to inner city kids and transforming their lives into some good, everybody, good citizens. Right. Let me ask you, what, uh, I don't know, what can you tell us with all your experience and how old are you now, Gary, if you don't I'm mind 77. asking? 77. 77, and, and you beat cancer, did you, did you not? Well, so far so good, two and a half years, and I'm, I've been clearer on my tests and everything, so yeah. But Praise the Lord. At least we're ahead of the game right now. What can you tell us about life? Don't get nervous with this question, but if, if uh, what, what's the meaning of life, Gary? Well, the meaning of, uh, you know, it's a, obviously a good question, and I, I have a favorite book that I bet I've given to scores and scores of people called Man's Search for Meaning by a psychiatrist that survived Auschwitz. And he talks about finding something of value to you where you can enjoy it and get something out of it and help others and something that just living for something outside of yourself. And uh, I guess it would be to, and to live and examine life. And I, and I asked, I talked to the kids that I work with Three questions, where did I come from? Where am I, why am I here and where am I going? To find something out that, that turns you on. Mm -hmm. Good. And uh, if you had to do it all over in all your experiences, anything you'd, you'd, you'd do over? Not really. I look back and you know, you learn as much and have as much fun in retrospect, I guess, from the down times as the good times. I think it's a, very important to have this God that be the center of your life, and that means a lot of different things to a lot of people. But uh, it's it's made my life richer to have to always be searching and being a pioneer in faith. And, and uh, I screw up like everybody else, but I'm real happy that I have that anchor. How do you how do you start your mornings, Gary? Started with prayer and started with making notes, and then I, I either read scripture or I read related kinds of writings and so forth that I think point point to God and to Jesus and last question for people uh, starting business been in business just going through life trying to make a living is there anything that you would I guess advise how where somebody should put their focus or anything that you can I don't know add to somebody going through life and, and, and with business? Yeah, I have never had, uh, I've never made money that, uh, where I called it a job. It was always just something I couldn't wait to get to in the morning, whether it was in the sports thing or, or development or, you know, working with these kids and so forth like that. I've never really, if it, if it becomes a job to somebody, don't do it. It's got to become a, a passion, uh, or something else except money. Obviously, money is important. Don't want to denigrate that, but don't have it be a job. Just have, just be so excited about what you do. That's great advice. Well, I appreciate it. I just want to tell you for the record, I love you, respect you a lot, and uh, you do a lot of good things with that Red Mountain. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Well, you've been a big help. Thank you. All right, Gary. Appreciate it. Yeah.